Now this is a little bit unorthodox to do, but this video message, this YouTube video is intended for one person, Hal Lawton, the CEO of Tractor Supply. And if you guys are not Hal Lawton and you're watching this video, it's totally cool. It's like, I'm welcoming you to eavesdrop. I know it's not the usual way to communicate with somebody by using a YouTube channel to make a one-to-one -one communication. But since Tractor Supply has ignored every other attempt I've made to communicate with them, I find that this is the only means that seems to work. So Hal, you see, a couple of weeks ago, I walked into my local Tractor Supply here in Northern New England. Uh, I live in Vermont, but my usual Tractor Supply happens to be right over the river in New Hampshire. And I walked in there, and I took a look at the baby birds that you guys had out there for your chick day and I saw that they were in the new tower brooders that you guys implemented this year, and most of the birds looked sick, they looked cold, they looked like they were in poor condition, and I gotta say, the situation was awful. I talked to the employees at the store, I told them about the conditions and told them about the issues I was seeing, and they basically told me that it was just about the new brooders that corporate had instituted and that was just the situation that it was and there was not much that they could do about it. I went to a couple of more stores, checked it out, and I saw a very similar situation. And so a few weeks back, I made a YouTube video about it. A couple hundred thousand people have seen that video so far, so I don't know, maybe you've seen it, but if you haven't, I'll leave a link to it up here. After I made that video, your team at Tractor Supply reached out to me. It was uh, your social media manager, Lady Heather, as well as a couple other folks, and they got on a Zoom call with me and we we had a conversation about the brooder situation and we even talked to the guy from Hoover Hatchery who's the hatchery that supplies your baby birds and your team was very specific in saying that the problem wasn't the brooders themselves they take animal welfare very seriously that I must have just seen one bad situation the other activity and complaints I've seen on social media was just simply swirl from inexperienced backyard poultry farmers some of the social posts that you're seeing are from new backyard chicken enthusiasts um, who may not have as much knowledge about chickens but I think some of what you may be seeing also has an element of swirl in there that's a true quote that your social media lady said and and they told me about some changes Changes that they were implementing in their store that actually made me feel better and after that conversation I went to my local store and I checked on the conditions at that store and everything looked like it was improving and so that was very good to see you see how I'm a poultry farmer myself I, I have a small farm here in northern Vermont and so you have to understand that the place that I'm coming at this one from is one in which I appreciate and understand the way poultry is raised but I also have to say that what I was seeing in your stores how wasn't the way it should be but again, your team was very reassuring and telling me that everything was gonna be okay and that they were gonna do the right thing. And so to test that theory out, I decided to put a call out to our viewers here on our YouTube channel to ask them to go to their local tractor supplies and check on the conditions. You know, it could have been very easy for your team to like just make sure that everything in my local area was cool and that like, you know, stores in Florida or California or Washington could have a totally different situation going on. And so over the past few weeks, Hal, I've been getting some very distressing reports. So I came to Atwater, California Tractor Supply today to get chicken feed for my chickens. And I was disgusted to see the condition these ducks were in. They had no water and their cage was absolutely filthy, as well as where the chickens were, their pens were filthy. Thankfully, there was no chickens left. I've been getting reports of overly cold chicks. I've been getting reports of sick chicks. I've been getting reports of chicks with pasty butt. I've been getting reports of dead chicks. And again, because you haven't been transparent about the mortality numbers within your store, that leads me to believe that there is a bigger problem that you guys aren't talking about. And beyond the reports that I was getting from viewers who were consumers walking into your store, I got about eight emails from folks who claim to be Tractor Supply employees. Now, I couldn't verify that every single one of those folks was an employee, and they've all asked to be anonymous, but there were three specific emails that I got 
where the folks gave me enough information where I could actually in fact verify that they did work at Tractor Supply. And these reports that I was getting, Hal, from your own employees were quite distressing. So Hal, I gotta say, what's going on here, man? Are you gonna tell me that your employees are lying to me? Are you gonna tell me that the things that I'm seeing from folks reporting around the country are total BS? I mean, look, Hal, you are the CEO of Tractor Supply. You should be the man who is accountable for what happens within your company. Yes, it's the responsibility of folks down below you to operate the stores, whether it's at the corporate level for the folks managing the different departments and programs, or the employees at the store level who are actually implementing the taking care of the chicks. But ultimately, homie, the buck stops with you. And I really wanna know, what do you think? Because, you know, after I made my first video, your team was very quick to reach out to me. But ever since then, I have been reaching out to them to follow up and have additional conversations. And I have received radio silence, which is weird because as I ended that Zoom call that one night, your team was even telling me that if I wanted to test out one of your brooders, you'd be happy to lend me one and I could give it a shot. Look, I've reached out to every single person that I talked to who worked for Tractor Supply and I have received radio silence. Look how I'm asking three specific things of you. Number one. I want to know what your response is. What is your response to these horrible reports of animal welfare? Whether it's employees talking about boxes of dead baby birds showing up at the store or the photos that I've seen from your own customers who are showing dead chicks to all the baby birds with pasty butt, which is a very preventable condition if you are raising your birds properly. What's your response to that, man? Second, I'd really like to actually just have a conversation with you about this one. If you wanna hop on Zoom or hop on the phone, let me know. I think I'm a rather reasonable guy and I really wanna hear your side of the story, Hal, but I'm not hearing anything from Tractor Supply on this issue. You guys have gone radio silent and I'm very curious as to why. You know, I put out a petition a couple of weeks ago where I got over 65,000 signatures. 65 5,000 verifiable signatures, man. I mean, it's not as big as some petitions, but it's at least big enough that I think it should be getting your attention, Mr. Hal Watton. And then I guess the third thing I'm asking is, I think you guys move too quickly with these new brooders. I see potential in this new approach. I think that there is the opportunity to improve the conditions uh, the animals that you're raising would be in with these tower battery cage brooders. But the current way that you're implementing it, as well as the level of training that your employees have right now, just makes it a horrible mistake. And I think you guys need to hit the pause button on this project, go back to the old brooder system and really take a close look to see what you're doing wrong. So Hal, I wanna hear back from you and really I'm, I'm gonna be pushing this one until I get a response. And for folks who are out there watching this video who happen to not be Hal Lawton, do you mind on my behalf reaching out to him and asking him to have a conversation with me? I could really use the help. I mean, as you can tell right now, I'm reduced to being yet another angry middle-aged guy ranting and raving in his pickup truck. I feel like I could or should do better. And so if you don't mind, help me out and reach out to Hal Lawton and ask him to have a conversation with me. I'll leave a link down below if you need some help on how to do that. And you know, the other thing is, Hal, it's been a couple weeks since I've walked into a tractor supply. And so I went to one of my local ones just today and it was pretty awful, some of the stuff I was seeing there. More sick birds. This is not the way you should be raising animals, Hal. And I think you need to do better than this. Do they not give you enough people to like help out with them? Like, one time right, she should be there, and it's just us. It's only like three or four. It's just, I mean, there's just a lot of birds in there with pasty butt. Uh, I took care of them the other. I did them all the other day. I don't know. I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait till she comes back so I can do 